Well, many of you might relate to the bestie who thinks the cure to a broken heart is a wild weekend, which in this case could lead to a hot mess holiday. I propose a full weekend social banger extravaganza. That sounds like way too many words. They're all equally important. Now I'm just gonna stay home and crawl under my weighted blanket. Oh, I totally get it. It does wonders for the nervous system. No one cares, friend zone Freddy. Just give me the weekend, Mel. You gotta release all this energy and bring back that bad I once knew. And you can only do that by getting intensely hammered. Look. Whatever happens with Rishi happens, but the only way you're gonna find closure in this is with a big old Rishi purge. You know, wash that mofo out of your soul. And here to help us kick off a weekend social banger extravaganza are real life besties for life. Comedians, actresses, and co-creators Serena Jindal and Melanie Chandra. <laughs> Good, good morning. Good morning, ladies. Or should I say good morning, besties? You two make me want to have a super smart, super funny bestie. Oh. Get you one. We'll be that really? for you. Really? Because yeah. I can't even imagine what it's you guys feel like right now, knowing that this labor of love is finally going to be seen by gazillions of people. Yeah, oh, yeah. we've been we've been very emotional the last yeah. few days. We've very been emotional. Basically yeah. married for the last seven years, and here's our seven-year-old baby coming out. So, yeah. Happy birthday, seven-year-old baby. Okay, yeah. so my, can I tell you guys what I've been, what I've been doing like the entire night? Because I know you always go like, Serena, you always say Serena, not Williams. So I was like, for Melanie, I was like, Mel, not Griffith, Mel, not B, or Mel, not C. Which, which, which Spice Girl do you want? Because it's, I, I can only think of three, three, I can only think of three famous Melanies, Melanie. So do you want Griffith, or do you want not C or not B from Spice Girl? Ooh, Mel, not C or not B. She's her own I'm, spice. I'm my own spice. <laughs> yes, you are. And you guys bring yeah. the spice for real, for real, in, in more ways than one. I told you I saw the movie last night. And audiences already know you two from Serena and Mel, so the fun continues in Hot Mess Holiday, which shines a light on Diwali, which I don't believe we've seen explored in any or that many mainstream holiday movies. So what does it mean for you to be able to share your Indian culture on such a large platform? The good and the bad with the crazy aunties and uncles. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot when um, Viacom asked us what kind of movie holiday do we want to create for this movie, immediately all of us creators were like, it's got to be the volley. It has mm -hmm. to be the volley because it hasn't been done before. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny that, kind of a spoiler alert, not really, but that there's a white guy sort of mansplaining the volley to everybody <laughs> in the movie, spoon feeding what the volley means. <laughs> Uh, the festival of lights and what it means for our culture. So it is really cool to have something to point to, to relate to that we didn't have growing up. So it's it's, it's great to have yeah. something that we can put something like that out there. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, you guys are the true definition of beauty and brains and all kinds of good stuff. And I was gonna say, I have something in common with you, but it's not the talent because I don't, I'm not like funny and smart and stuff. But we both know Cal Penn. Don't tell him because he probably forgot about me. And, no, he plays a, and, he play, <laughs> and he plays a huge role in this movie, both in front and behind the camera. Yeah. Yeah, so, Cal Penn came on board as an executive producer on this like a few years ago. He saw some of the work we were doing online and he's like, what are you guys doing? This should be a thing. Can I come on board as an executive producer? And we're like, sure, Cal Penn, because we've always looked up to him growing up. Like there weren't many Indian American actors doing any sort of work in TV and film. So he was the OG. He was the OG. Uh -huh. um, and so we were, he was the other OG. And so he, um, so we were just like so honored. And then we asked him, would you like to act in it and play yourself, like a heightened version of yourself? And he was totally down. And, you know, it's one of my favorite elements of the movie is just having Cal Penn magically appear out of nowhere. And we only refer to him now as Cal Penn. Like it's it's first and last name always. But you know what's funny? It's that we, it, it's so relatable for most of us because that's what we say. He's one of those people that you have to say his first and last name. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't feel complete. Well, I also know that we, we get to see the movie, the rest of the world gets to see the movie on Comedy Central this Saturday night, right? So, but, but aren't yeah. you, are you guys gonna have like a, like a global premiere or go, go to like, you know, any other like countries to do premieres there? I'm just asking because I want to crash it. I would love to. Yeah, yeah, I think we want to go to Bali. Uh, yeah. There's a big premiere that could happen there. Tulum, I, Tulum I really would be really want to get great. Really Ibiza really would yeah. be great. Yeah. All of these. Maldives. Uh, the sure. Maldives, yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, That's so right. As, as you guys know, you guys are professional creators, professional actresses, professional funny women. I'm a professional stalker. Wherever you guys decide to do the premiere, I will be there. 
<laughs> You're amazing. Love that. I'm just saying. I love being fucked. I, even if you make up these places, I will still show up, and I'm just going to blame you. <laughs> Such a pleasure to meet the two of you. I hope to see you again. You. Make more. Thank make so more much. movies. Make more shows. Make more everything. We'll be there to support you, whether Thank you like you so it or much. not. Such a pleasure to meet you. you. Serena, Melanie, thanks so much for joining us. And everyone, make sure you tune in to Comedy Central this Saturday night to catch Hot Mess Holiday. It's a hot mess of goodness, I'm telling you. You're going to love it. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Dan and Thank Hazel. Thank you.